Many people ask us if smoking causes hair loss, and usually our answer is yes, smoking can contribute to hair loss. Sure, the impact that cigarettes can have on hair loss is almost insignificant in comparison to the impact that DHT and stress have on the health of your hair. So if you're looking for the main cause of your hair loss, smoking is almost certainly not the one. But it is very true that cigarettes can contribute to reducing blood flow to the extremities of your body, including the upper part of your scalp. And cigarettes pollute your blood, which impacts the health of your liver. And if the liver, which is the main filter of our body, is in trouble, well, trust me, your hair may be in trouble too. Smoking may also have some minor clogging effect on the pores of your scalp when combined with sebum. Recently, a scientific study found that people living in highly polluted areas experience a bigger rate of hair thinning. This is likely to do with the same reasons as smoking. So the impact of polluting the lungs with chemicals and smoke can be measurable in terms of baldness. So our recommendation is to reduce the number of cigarettes you smoke daily or quit completely. Let's see the benefits of quitting. Within 12 hours after your last cigarette, your heart rate will begin to drop back to a normal level, while the levels of oxygen will increase. The toxic carbon monoxide released from burning tobacco will start to decrease to normal levels. Carbon monoxide bonds very well to blood cells, preventing them from bonding with oxygen. 24 hours after you quit, the risk of coronary artery disease for smokers is much higher than non-smokers. However, just one full day after quitting smoking, your risk for coronary artery disease, as well as having a heart attack, will already start to reduce. Three days after you quit, at this point, the nicotine will be completely out of your body, and you may be experiencing the symptoms of nicotine withdrawal, such as irritability, headache, sweating, and anxiety. This is when stopping smoking can become especially difficult. Be strong now. If you're able to make it to this point, don't give up. You are well on your way to a much healthier life. Two weeks after you quit, Stopping smoking for two weeks gives your body time to regenerate and heal. Your blood circulation and heart functions will improve significantly during this time. Your lungs may also begin to function much better, allowing you to breathe more easily. One year after you quit. After a year without smoking, carbon monoxide is no longer preventing blood and oxygen to freely flow to your skin. This means that the collagen production in your body will be back to normal levels and your skin will start to look healthier. The risk for heart disease is lowered to half that of a smoker and your withdrawal symptoms are virtually non-existent. Five years after you quit. At this point, the toxic substances released in the burning of tobacco which cause your blood vessels to narrow have been completely eliminated from your body and the risk of having a stroke is the same as that of a non-smoker. 10 years after you quit. Smokers are at higher risk than non-smokers for several types of cancers, such as throat, lung, and pancreatic cancer. If you make it to this point, your risk of dying from lung cancer, the most common type, will drop to half that of a smoker. 15 years after you quit. 15 years after your last cigarette, your risk of heart attack will drop at the same level as that of a non-smoker. It goes without saying that your hair would benefit a lot from quitting smoking. Okay, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and that it will be useful for you. Visit our website, endhairloss.eu, if you suffer from hair loss and are looking for a natural and efficient treatment. And subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.